We've all come across a pill bottle at some point in our lives. Now, they're not really a pleasant sight, and you probably don't want to look at them and analyze their aesthetic. Just pause for a moment, look closely, and you'll begin to wonder, why are pill bottles the way they are? What's up, Titty Nopers, and welcome back to Titty Nope. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and like this video if you enjoy. In this video, we're going to be revealing shocking facts about pill bottles that will change the way you see these little containers forever. Number 5. The Color Whether it's on TV or in real life, pill bottles always seem to come in orange-colored bottles that just aren't pleasing to the eye. But what most people don't know is that if it wasn't for this translucent orange color, the pills we take wouldn't be effective at all. Why? Well, it's because most medications are extremely sensitive to sunlight. What this means is that direct exposure to sunlight could alter your medication, causing all kinds of weird side effects. These orange pill bottles are actually designed to keep all the damaging UV rays away from your meds. This is also why you should never even think about storing your pills outside their original container. They're there for a reason. Number 4. The Seal Here's a fun fact. Pill bottles didn't always come with the foil seals. The advent of this seal is credited to a series of murders called the Tylenol Murders that took place in 1982 when seven people from different families had died from consuming cyanide-laced Tylenol pills. And the worst part was, this was all part of a large-scale plan. Once investigators discovered that someone had put cyanide, a deadly chemical, in the capsules, consumers were warned not to take the drug, and 31 million bottles nationwide were recalled by Johnson & Johnson. About one and a half million bottles were tested, and three unopened bottles were found to be contaminated with cyanide, showing that there were a total of 10 bottles that had been tampered with. Since then, the FDA pushed for pharmaceutical companies to seal all drugs, especially over-the-counter medication with tamper-resistant packaging to prevent incidents like these from happening again. Number 3. Half-Filled Bottles have you ever spent money on a ridiculously expensive medicine only to find the bottle half-filled? Well, here's the logic behind the half-filled pill bottles. It's to give pharmaceutical companies enough space to include all the drug fact information as required by the FDA and to include every little detail about the medication on the bottle itself. This is why pill companies like to play it safe with the bigger bottles and give you all the information you could possibly need about your medication, even if it means a huge, half-filled bottle of medicine. Number 2. The Cotton Ball How many times have you reached inside your pill bottle only to grab a cotton ball that comes along with the medication? Now, the reason why nearly all pill bottles come with cotton balls is because all the way back in the 1900s, Bayer, a life science company, started using cotton as a way to keep the pills from breaking inside the bottle, leading to improper dosages where patients would try and consume different broken pieces to count for a single pill. Eventually, pharmaceutical companies started coating their pills, preventing them from breaking inside the container. So, why is the cotton ball still there? Well, to be honest, it really has no purpose anymore. It is just a standard practice. In fact, Medical experts advise you to take the cotton ball out as soon as you can to prevent it from soaking in any moisture and ruining the chemical composition of your medication. The more you live, the more you know, right? Number 1. Going Green The greatest thing about your pill bottles today is that almost all of them are completely recyclable. In fact, pill bottles have always been designed to keep its reusage in mind since the 1900s, when the original glass pill bottle was invented. Today, the most common prescription medication bottles are made from recyclable plastic. Many pharmacy chains like CVS and Walgreens will actually let you drop off your pill bottles to them for recycling. 
But if you're doing the task on your own, make sure to always take the caps off the bottles and chuck them in the recycling bin ready to be reused. This is the end of today's video. Which of these facts shocked you the most? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next one.